This week's feature drum is a 5x14 black nickel over brass by World Max. It's essentially a Black Beauty style drum, except for it's not seamless. It does have a uh, rolled and welded shell. I heard about this drum when it won some sort of a snare drum Olympics contest. I think it was a blind playing test or something. Either way, I heard that it, um, it beat out a lot more expensive drums and just made me really curious because I'm always looking for the best sounding drum for the least investment. Uh, this was, uh, at the time, it was only a couple hundred dollars. I don't know what they're at now. What I did do was I replaced, it came with triple flange hoops top to bottom. Actually, it came with single flange hoops, which were cool, but it was a little little bit too open, a little bit too vintage-y. Uh, I put triple flange on it. That was also cool. Still, there was a bit too much tone, so I then swapped out to the top head with a die cast. So it has a triple flange on the bottom and a die cast on top. For me, that was a perfect combination to kind of focus the tones a little bit without making it too choked, giving a little bit stronger attack, which I wanted. Um, and it didn't add too much weight. It made it a little bit heavier. But anyway, this is a drum that I love to keep wide open. It's kind of what I go for when I want something that kind of has like a bit of a honk, kind of a classic studio honk type sound. Um, and usually for faster tempos, I like shallower drums when I'm playing faster tempos. The, I feel like the, the tone just kind of closes down a little bit quicker than a deeper drum. And you also the snares respond faster. So it just works better in faster tempos. Um, what else about it? The throw off on this thing is not my favorite. I need to replace it. This is what came with it. It tends to fly off um, in the middle of a take sometimes. So this drum never leaves the studio for that reason. I'll probably update that soon. Probably as soon as I publish this video, I will swap that out. But um, it works. It's just not great. Batterhead, I've got a Remo Coded Ambassador X, which I love. I think it's a 12 mil single ply head, so it's a little bit thicker. Um, again, it gives me just a little bit more, a um, little bit more control, more durability. I also put a beater badge sticker on it, so it essentially made this like a coded dot head um, that just sticks on there. Pure sound wires on the bottom, an Aquarian Classic clear snare side. Tuning-wise, the bottom is very tight. I think it was tuned up to a G. Um, the batter was tuned initially to um, a C sharp. I ended up tuning it down a little bit because I wanted to you know, get the pitch of the drum to sit in the track. I'm playing along with this acoustic guitar loop that was in the key of E. So I just had to detune the batter head a little bit to get the, the fundamental pitch to be at, right at an E. I tend to tune the snare fundamental to the key or the, the main tonal center of the song. So this is tuned to an E. It's that wide open, you'll hear it kind of honking sound. So let's check it out. So again, this is a 5x14 black nickel over brass by World Max. World Max makes uh, parts that a lot of small boutique companies end up buying, like these tube lugs or, or solid brass tube lugs. They're great. The shell is modeled after the old Ludwig, but it is a rolled and welded rather than seamless brass. Um, cool drum if you can find them. I don't know how many are available anymore, but they were, uh, they were really affordable when I got this uh, 13, 14 years ago. So that's the... World Max Black Dog. All right, see you next time.